Microsoft will end support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October 2025. After this date, Microsoft will no longer provide free software updates, security fixes, or technical assistance for Windows 10. Windows 10 will still work, but it won't receive any more updates to address any vulnerabilities or bugs. At this point, it's clear that Microsoft intends to end free support for Windows 10 in October and will not change its plans. Here are the reasons why Microsoft is ending support and what you can do. Microsoft is ending support for Windows 10 so they can move to support more recent versions of Windows, like Windows 11, which have more modern security features and performance improvements. Microsoft follows its standard operating system lifecycle policy meaning that after 10 years, it stops providing security updates and technical support for a version of Windows, so it can focus more on supporting more recent versions rather than old versions. This means that if a security hole or a bug is discovered in the core Windows platform, it won't be fixed by Microsoft. Windows 10 was originally released in July 2015, making it over 10 years old when support ends on the 14th of October 2025. This is the simplest and cheapest option for you to choose. As long as you're using a PC with supported hardware, you can upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free. The hardware requirements for Windows 11 are quite strict, preventing many older computers from upgrading. But if your computer is modern enough, you should be able to upgrade for free. To check if your PC is supported on Windows 11, you can run the Windows PC Health Check app. If it is, you can go ahead with the upgrade. If not, there are some other options. If you're using an older PC that came pre-installed with Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 or your PC was purchased before 2018, then it probably won't meet the hardware requirements. We wouldn't recommend forcing the Windows 11 upgrade on unsupported hardware as you may encounter performance problems and run into compatibility issues. This is a much more expensive option which will require you to purchase a new PC that comes pre-installed with Windows 11. If your PC is not supported on Windows 11, this is your only option if you want to upgrade from Windows 10. Hardware and software have advanced a lot since Windows 10 was released, and today's computers are faster, more powerful, and more secure. Windows 11 desktop and laptop PCs come in different shapes, sizes, and price points, so you can shop around for the best Windows 11 PCs that suit your needs. After support ends, Microsoft will continue developing security updates for Windows 10, but they won't be free. Instead, Microsoft will offer subscription-based updates, which will be available for up to three years until October 2028, and double in price for each year. This option is really more aimed at commercial users, such as businesses. However, Microsoft has announced that it will also allow consumer users to pay for continued support on Windows 10. Consumers can only pay for extended support for one extra year, so they won't be supported after October 2026. This is mostly for businesses with older systems that cannot readily upgrade to Windows 11. Windows 10 will not stop working after the end of support, and you can technically stay on Windows 10 without support. While it's unlikely that much will change in the initial months beyond the end of support, over time Windows 10 will become less and less secure, as new security holes and bugs are discovered and remain unfixed. Antivirus software will help to an extent, but if a security hole is found in the core Windows 10 platform and malware is designed to take advantage of it, it can only go so far as to protect you. It will still not address any vulnerabilities or bugs in the operating system that have been discovered. There may be clever ways for malware to sneak past antivirus software, so you'll need to be careful and vigilant once Windows 10 is unsupported. Over time, Many apps will stop receiving updates or no longer work on Windows 10 as developers move to optimize apps for more recent versions of Windows. Apps like Google Chrome will eventually stop supporting Windows 10 like it did with Windows XP and Windows 7. It's unlikely that this will happen right away. It took years for apps to stop supporting Windows XP and Windows 7, and the same will most likely happen with Windows 10. But it's something to expect to start happening in the years after 2025. As time progresses and new apps launch, you will start to notice Windows 10 is no longer officially supported. If this video was useful for you, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications whenever new content is posted, you can click on the bell icon after subscribing.